It was supposed to be a relaxing weekend getaway. I had booked a charming Airbnb in a small town, hoping to escape the chaos of the city. As I drove up the winding dirt road, the smell of pine trees and fresh earth filled the car. I entered the cabin, the wooden floors creaking underfoot. The interior was quaint, filled with rustic furniture and knickknacks. There was a faint smell of cedar and something else, something I couldn't quite place. It was a musty, almost damp odor that seemed to linger in the corners. I shrugged it off and ignored it. After unpacking, I decided to explore the area. As the sun began to set, I headed back to the cabin, the smell of the forest clinging to my clothes. Back inside, I lit a fire in the fireplace, the crackling flames adding warmth to the chilly evening. The smell of burning wood mingled with the ever-present musk, creating an oddly comforting atmosphere. I settled onto the couch with a book, the glow of the fire casting flickering shadows on the walls. Hours passed, and I began to feel sleepy. The fire had died down to glowing embers, and the cabin was quiet, save for the occasional creak of the wooden beams. I decided to call it a night and headed to the bedroom. T, as I drifted off to sleep, a sudden noise jolted me awake. It was a faint tapping sound, like someone knocking on wood. My heart pounded in my chest, and I strained to hear over the silence. The tapping continued. Hello? I called out. No response. The tapping grew louder, more urgent. It seemed to be coming from beneath the floorboards. I swung my legs over the side of the bed, the cold wooden floor sending a shiver up my spine. I grabbed my phone, turned on the flashlight, and crept toward the sound. The tapping continued, echoing through the cabin. I followed it to a small door in the hallway, one I hadn't noticed before. I opened the door wider and shined the flashlight into the darkness. A narrow staircase led down into a basement, the air thick with the smell of mold and decay. The tapping was louder now, coming from the far end of the basement. The basement was cold and damp, the air heavy with the stench of rot. The floor was covered in dirt, and old wooden beams supported the ceiling. The tapping was louder now, almost deafening. It was coming from a large wooden crate in the corner. I approached the crate my hands shaking. The smell of decay was overwhelming and I could barely breathe. I reached out and lifted the lid. Inside was a bundle of old clothes. I moved the flashlight and my breath caught in my throat. Beneath the clothes was a skeletal hand, the bones yellowed with age. The tapping stopped abruptly and the silence was suffocating. I stumbled back, dropping my phone. The room plunged into darkness and I heard a soft shuffling sound behind me. I turned, my heart pounding in my ears. A figure stood in the doorway, its outline barely visible in the dim light. It was tall and thin, its eyes glowing faintly. The smell of decay was overpowering and I gagged, trying to hold back the rising panic. The figure moved closer, its steps slow and deliberate. Leave, a voice whispered, raspy and filled with menace. I didn't need to be told twice. I bolted up the stairs, my mind racing. I could hear the shuffling steps behind me, the smell of decay following me like a shadow. I burst through the cabin door and ran to my car. The engine roared to life and I sped down the dirt road, the cabin disappearing in the rearview mirror. I never looked back. I vowed never to return to that place, and to this day, the thought of an Airbnb fills me with an indescribable dread.